Tom Pidcock is now a monument winning classics and Tour de France stage winner, able to dominate in all categories of bike racing at the highest level on and off road. Tom Pidcock was born in Leeds, England on July 30th, 1999. His mother and father were both keen cyclists and Tom's first bike was a hand-me-down from his father. Tom started riding at a very young age and quickly showed his natural talent for the sport. His first ever bike race came at the age of seven on the Castle Coombe circuit in Wiltshire. In the race, he dropped a chain, resulting in a bit of a paddy. But he kept racing and honing his natural talent, building his confidence, so much so that by the age of 12, he stated, I'm going to win the Tour de France. Tom remembers racing a lot at the under-14 level, but not getting good until he was in the under-16 ranks. With a win at the Scarborough National Youth Race Series and some strong results under his belt, he got support from Paul Millen Cycles, a Yorkshire-based cycle shop with a strong heritage of supporting young, talented racers from the county. Age 16 as a first-year junior, a second place at the UCI Cyclocross World Cup in Hornerhide cemented his status as the one to watch. The following year, he would go on to start winning with a kind of style that was impossible to go unnoticed. Just two months after securing the rainbow stripes in cyclocross, he won the junior edition of the prestigious Paris-Roubaix. At 18, Tom then signed his first professional contract with the cyclocross super team, Telinet Fida, for two years, but left after just one to join Team Wiggins in the UK. Here, he scored another Paris-Roubaix victory in the under-23 race before the team folded in 2019. After the season with Wiggins, I just went to the dirt jumps and went out with my friends. I put on 8kg, and in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. There's no rush to be a world tour rider. I'm not in the game to be the youngest Tour de France winner, or the youngest this or that. To me, that's quite irrelevant. It's about what you've achieved at the end of your career. At the start of 2022, Tom signed for the Trinity Racing Team. The team racing manager, Kurt Bogatz, a former professional road racing cyclist from Belgium, becoming his new coach who has been an instrumental and key figure in helping Tom on his route to the top. Alongside the big race results, Tom points to the beginning of their working relationship as one of the major milestones in his cycling journey. That was after the time at Wiggins, when I was a bit relaxed and he got me into the swing of things. He's not just a coach, he looks after everything I do as an athlete. Diet, training, lifestyle, how to deal with a girlfriend and all of that. Tom's 2019 and 2022 seasons were packed full of remarkable results under-23 European cyclocross champion, under-23 world cyclocross champion, British cyclocross champion, under-23 World Cup winner on the road. In addition to winning the under-23 Paris-Roubaix, he went on to claim the under-23 bronze at the World Championships in his home county of Yorkshire. And that was just 2019. He made the step up to the elites in cyclocross, securing silver in his first ever cyclocross world championships before the global pandemic put a halt to all events. When racing resumed, he showed that lockdown hadn't affected his early season form, powering his way to overall victory at the Giro Ciclisto d'Italia, the biggest stage race on the under-23 road race calendar, before riding an incredibly strong race at the Elite World Championships, where he was Great Britain's team leader. From here, he turned his hand to mountain biking, where he won back-to-back -back races at his first ever under-23 cross-country World Cup, and backed this up the following week with the under-23 E Mountain Bike World Championship title. In September 2022, it was announced that Tom had signed for Ineos Grenadiers, formerly known as Team Sky, one of the biggest and perhaps best-known professional road teams in the world ever. Honestly, I don't think there's any other team I would have ridden for, says Tom. Not I've ever said this, but actually, I've always thought, of course I'll ride for them. Kurt now joins the young talent at his new team, Ineos Grenadiers. Pidcock's coach, Kurt Bolgatz, has a professional relationship with the rider dating back to 2018, but the pair of them now work together at Ineos. We knew he's a huge talent with a great work ethic and when you have those things combined with a desire to have fun, you know it can work. But whenever you go up a level, you have to see where you are. To put it into results already is quite unique. He's in such good shape, he almost doesn't need to train. Bogats compared the 21-year-old Briton to the two best riders in modern cycling, Matthew van der Poel and Julien Alaphilippe. Physically, Tom is more towards the Alaphilippe kind of rider with his weight and climbing ability. But then his mentality is like van der Poel. He likes to race. We don't need to put him in a box. That's not going to work. He needs to have the freedom to race with his heart. Tom needs to be free and to keep that identity. That will be the key to a long and happy career. In 2022, Tom showed the world what he could do in training on one of the most famous climbs in the world, smashing the comm on Sakalobra, producing 386 watts for 22 minutes and 46 seconds. At Tom's weight of 58 kilos, that's 5.6 watts per kilo. 
How does Tom fuel his race-winning engine? My breakfast is basically the same every training day. I have 105 to 120 grams of oats for porridge, and then an omelette with half an avocado and smoked salmon. Lunch is pasta or rice with some protein and veg, and dinner is kept the same. Carbs, protein, and loads of veg. Keep it simple. For snacks, I've eaten a lot of rice cakes in the last couple of years. They're great because they haven't got a lot of calories, but you can eat loads of them. On the bike, I mainly use bars, bananas, and sometimes I make Oreo rice cakes or something like that. I try to eat somewhere between every 20 minutes to an hour, depending on the session. I rarely use gels when I train. I save them for races. High carbs for training, low carbs for rest. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Tom Pidcock's life, leave a like down below and subscribe.